Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel and today is Sunday. Let's talk about the latest development. So today I'll talk about specifically for Cognizant Capgemini uh, Infosys and Wipro and this video will be predominantly for the freshers and the people with less experience like two, three years uh, because uh, what I'm observing uh, or what I have seen couple of news coming from Cognizant basically they are asking PAs basically program analyst having 30, 40,000 uh, salary uh, bracket. They are asking to leave because they don't have project and similarly in Wipro they don't ask directly uh, to leave but what they are doing if you are not uh, got a project within say 30 days they will ask you to go for long time LOP like you need to go for leave without pay mode and for uh, Capgemini also they are maintaining this bench period if you are not getting within certain range they are asking the employee to leave and Infosys also these incident are less but there are people working in Infosys, they ask to resign once they are not getting project for more than six months. So this is quite common these days and uh, getting a project is slightly difficult these days in service based company. So if you are joining in this company, just make sure that you have to be uh, prepared uh, whatever subject you are getting that like you are getting trained on. So you have to be absolutely uh, clear on that and you have to do some other project and POC apart from those project in order to get some uh, actual knowledge. Now let's begin with the Cognizant one. So Cognizant is infamous for its bench. So the bench policy of Cognizant is 45 days and they can extend to 60 days for senior people like as senior associate managers and all. But for PA and PAT it might be 90 days. So once you are there, once you they call it benches. Basically, once your benches is more than 60 days, so you, you may get notification or email from the HR side that you have to resign if you are not getting a project. They will give a very stringent time, this seven days. After 60 days, they will give maximum seven to 15 days. They will say like if you are not allocated to a project by this time, you have a, you have to leave the organization and as a severance package they are sometimes offering two months salary sometimes they're offering five months salary so if you are in that situation where they already communicated that you have to leave the organization please negotiate that if you can take five months of salary ask them there are a lot of your friends uh, that got five months of severance pay you ask them try to get as much as you can uh, take and uh, then like you know you need to search a job because there is no way uh, to fight back because eventually they can terminate uh, they have the right they usually don't uh, don't like to terminate but again like if there is no option they can so that is the uh, like you know uh, uh, news which is currently with cognizant so if you have multiple offer and if you haven't joined cognizant yet so maybe you can uh, look other options if you have uh, like if you are freshers now having said cognizant is not that bad company uh, it, this is happening for us a specific reason i'll come to that at, at the end basically why suddenly like you know uh, basically this the, the impact basically on pa level program analyst level not in pat not in associate or senior associate so if you are in cognizant and the, the, the securest position in cognizant is associate so associate is a mid senior role where they can work as a senior developer as a module lead and then uh, th there is a chance of like you know uh, also cognizant for that cognizant they can they can basically you know get, get lot of money with this resource basically they can do lot of billing with these associate people so the secure position in cognizant is associate level so if you are slightly below associate it is slightly above associate definitely you are at risk if you don't have project okay now coming back to one more news this is for capgemini and this is a screenshot basically and uh, i have uh, that just you know blurred uh, some personal information so um, like you know the he, she, she posted that she got laid off from capgemini and uh, she was a data analyst and data science who who has knowledge of sql microsoft and then she is not from actually tech background she got trained in uh, uh, this uh, data analyst and eventually she worked more than two years uh, with capgemini and then she lost a job now he thanked uh, capgemini definitely uh, that he got a chance to work with them now the problem here you can see uh, for non-tech people uh, if you are on a specific working on a specific tool or technology then your job might be at, at risk so suppose let's assume you're a bi developer you are working 
on specifically on power bi then you no matter you are a tech guy or non tech guy you may uh, not get a project these days because what is the current expectation is a person should know at least four five technology out of which two three two three technology will be very well and rest two three would be a uh, kind of a like you know uh, overall high level knowledge for an example if a java developer he he or they only talks about their back end java developer things won't work if you are a java developer java is your core you need to know spring boot microservices you also need to know either react or angular or any any sort of uh, current javascript framework which is being used you also know about you need also know about microsoft uh, maybe like you know ms sql or oracle as a database little bit of mongodb or any other no sql also you have to idea of aws if you are java possibly aws or gcp so this is a full requirement so if you just say like i have experience in java things won't work client will not hire in these days because they are they are kind of a requirement of a person who can't uh, like you know check end to end so if you are trained in particular uh, domain try to stick to that but try to explore the kind of connected uh, like you know connected technology which are being used so for an example if a dotnet guy he only told that i'm a microsoft dotnet guy i have a huge experience with dotnet uh, back end development things on to work being a dotnet developer you need to know dotnet microservices dotnet core uh, maybe my ui like you know the, the mobile version of dotnet maybe some blazor also this this blazor is also popping up but apart from that you need to know either react or angular also you need to know microsoft azure quite a bit you need to learn devops you have to also be master of my sql server since you are a uh, .NET guy so and so on and so forth so you can see the area of uh like you know the technology stuff is quite vast so just knowing a specific tool or technology will not work these days so this is a uh, one problem and the next problem what i am observing you know in in my organization there is a guy who is expert in react he just joined last year he is in bench for last one year he didn't uh, receive any project because the expectation uh, the the client is asking a person who has uh, expertise for three years like uh, experience experience in more than three three years and has already done a couple of real-time project and which is running on production just making poc on to work so you can understand uh like you know, even a freshers who is earning less basically so client is not not very okay to absorb those and 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 let us talk why this is happening suddenly okay the re main reason is because of this point is fixed cost and time and money i mean those are senior they might know the terminology so this is a project execution mode so usually we go for fixed cost where client uh, provide the requirement and company bid or company give a like you know specific usd amount so say five thousand dollar or fifty thousand dollar and based on that uh, like you know the company deploying their resources testers developers business analysts financial analysts managers and they have executed it and there should be less than like uh, the the bid amount so that company can make some profit so this is one mode but the the the, the most uh, like you know common mode is time and money so here basically the the resources basically hired as a uh, hourly cost so for an example a junior resource so let's consider here the problem is so let's assume a junior resource let's assume a experienced resource with 10 years or less experience he will be taken as a resource with a 30 usd per hour uh, his rate basically and for above 10 years let's assume it will be 50 usd and they will be treated as manager now for this guy basically they will give eight hours uh eight hours per day so the full allocation they will give so eight into 30 uh, per day into 20. so this is your total uh monthly earning uh, from a specific resource and for this guy since he has uh, six thirds so let's assume 50 usd he will give a 50 percent allocation like you know he's a manager and the uh, the customer will say like we don't need a manager for whole time so five four hours would be fine so he will be give 50 percent allocation so this 50 hours 50 per hours into four into 20 20 days of work now if you are taking leave this this 20 will not be constant it will be less okay so this is your project now 
see a guy with 10 years experience they are giving 30 usd a guy with two years experience they are also giving 30 usd the client is paying 30 usd that is the main reason why these clients or customer are not willing to absorb the resource with less experience they want at least 5 6 10 12 years of experience because they are this uh, th there is no granularity like you know it's not like you know for one to three year one to three years experience they are giving 10 usd for three to five years they are giving uh, 20 years that is not the case so it's a junior or senior or like you know senior or manager so that is like like the the breakup in some companies this breakup is slightly more but in most of the case it is two two breakup one is for a non-manager one, one is one is for managerial post so the expectation is quite high from the client end and most of the companies these days most of the customer basically from us and they are taking client interviews so in the client interview if you have more than five six seven years experience they will possibly accept you and if you have very less experience you won't be able to you know even if you know the technology possibly you won't be able to uh, like you know uh, talk all about the tools and their real-time use cases if you haven't worked on right so that is a major issue for uh, the junior these days like you know with less experience they are not getting project and eventually they are asked to leave like gone those days where the senior basically five six years experience they are earning a lot they are asked to leave but that is not the case because these days somehow or otherwise they are getting into project so they are in a safe position so my suggestion would be if you are a junior uh, try to strict on your technology try to learn more tools and technology which are connected which are which are being used on that specific area do not stick to one single thing and one more point like if i take this example suppose if you are data analyst or maybe data science guy if you are data science guy you know you, you should be master master in python you should know a good you should have a good exposure on sql apart from your data apart from your tool so at least one programming language one uh, scripting language and database definitely you need to know like if you are working in uh, data science or data analyst so that is all about this video i hope somehow or otherwise it may help if you have any question regarding these four companies and if you are receiving cert certain mail where companies asking you to leave do uh, let me know in the comment below